Hi, and welcome to today's lesson, Multiply Integers with Models. We're going to be using two kinds of models again today. We will be using the counters, where yellow is going to represent positive one and red is representing negative one, and we're going to use number lines. It's important to know that in a multiplication problem, the multiply sign actually means groups. So this means three groups of two, and we're going to be talking about that in the lesson. And then just a quick reminder that negative also means opposite. Let's get started. So in our problem, three times two, we're going to use counters to represent our sets that we have here. We're going to read it as three groups of two. So I'm going to create three different groups. And inside each group, I'm going to be putting a positive two, which means I'll put two yellow counters. So I'll do that for each of my groups and then I'll count up what I have. These are all yellow and I have six, so my answer is positive six. Let's look at the same problem on a number line. We're going to look first at this number. Now, remember in this part of the problem with the counters, that told us how many were in each group. On this one, it's going to tell me how far to travel and what direction. So I'm gonna be traveling two to the right and this number tells me how many times to repeat that. So I'm going to repeat that three times. And then where I land is going to be my answer. So six is my answer here. On this problem, I have two groups of negative three. So I'm going to create two groups. And in each group, I'm going to put three red tiles. And then I will count up what I have and that'll be my answer. So I have six total counter chips here and they are all red so that means I have negative six. On the number line, this problem is telling me that I'm going to be going three to the left and I'm going to repeat that twice. So I'm just gonna do it one more time. And then my answer is where I landed at which is negative six. What happens when the, when the um, groups in the front are the thing that has the negative sign? Well, this right here is gonna be read as the opposite of two groups of three. So we're gonna look at what that means. First, let's make our two groups. Then we're going to put three counters in them each. Now, because this is positive, I'm gonna put a positive three inside each of them. What the opposite means is that we are changing the sign. Remember, the opposite of positive six is negative six, so we're actually gonna be flipping these over. And then we end up with an answer of negative six. So once again, the reason why is that we wanted the opposite of two groups of positive three, which is two groups of negative three, or negative six. Let's look at this one on the number line. So this says to travel three to the right and to repeat it two times. Now we're gonna find the opposite. So I went ahead and traveled my total distance, pretending like this wasn't here, and then at the end is when I do the opposite. And it doesn't matter if that's for the counter chips or the number lines, you'll find the opposite at the end. So because six would have been the answer if it wasn't an opposite, this is gonna take me to its opposite over here. So the distance between zero and six and zero and negative six are the same. And they are on other sides of the number line. Um, are there other sides of zero? So that's why this one's negative six. And then our last example looks very similar. So we talked about what happens when we have the opposite of a group. We talked about a group having negative. So now we're gonna put those together. So we're gonna read this as the opposite of two groups of negative three. So first I'll create my two groups. I'm gonna put negative three in them. And then I'm going to find the opposite of that. So I'm only flipping the chips over if my first number is negative. That means to find the opposite. So then I'll count up what I have and my answer is positive six on my number line. I am going to travel three to the left. I'm going to repeat that two times. And that lands me at 
negative 6. But I'm not done. I still have to find the opposite. So I'm going to find the opposite just by moving the opposite direction. And my answer is positive 6 here as well. Let's recap. We know that the multiply sign means we are working with groups of and that negative can also mean opposite. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for tuning in. Feel free to click to subscribe to watch this and other lessons. Until next time.